Hello, Central Panther Cubs. I hope you're having a great day. My name is Miss White. And now, most of you probably don't recognize me because I am brand new to your school this year. I am going to be working at Central Elementary this year as your school counselor intern. So I'm going to be working closely with Miss Kramer, your school counselor, to learn a little bit about what she does and to learn how to become an awesome school counselor just like her. So I am super excited to be here. I'm really excited to get to know all of you. And I'm looking forward to doing some fun stuff with you this year, like what we're going to be doing today, which is a little read aloud. So this is one of Miss Kramer's books, and it's called It's Not My Fault. And I'm just going to be reading through it with you today, and we're going to talk a little bit about responsibility. All right, you ready? All right, let's get started. So once again, this is called It's Not My Fault by Nancy Carlson. So let's get to our first page. Here we are. So you see there, that's the intercom, and it says, please send George to the office. So this must be George, our main character. On Monday afternoon, George was called to Principal Flom's office. So he's called to the principal's office. How do you think he's feeling about that? He doesn't look too happy to be called to the principal's office. Come in, George, began Miss Flong. I'd like to, but before she could finish, George blurted out, I can explain everything. I was late today, but it's not my fault. Hmm. I stayed up late last night to watch my favorite movie on TV, and I don't know what happened, but my alarm clock didn't work this morning, and I overslept. So George is telling the principal he was late because he stayed up too late, and because his alarm clock didn't work. Let's see what else he says. I had to run in the halls to get to class on time, and that's when a kindergartner bumped into me. So now he's saying he's late because the kindergartner bumped into him. My lunch spilled everywhere. I had to clean it up and I was late to class. So here's George which is with his lunch all over the place. So it's all that kindergartner's fault I was late today. Well, George, said Miss Flom, Okay, I didn't get my math done either, but it's not my fault. Because my lunch spilled all over the floor this morning, I didn't get to eat today. So now George is saying because his lunch spilled, he didn't get to eat. And then what? I was really hungry during gym class and I had to sneak a candy bar. Coach Ed caught me and told me to do 50 sit-ups. So many things keep happening to George today, huh? And those sit-ups made me so tired I couldn't pay attention in math class. So it's all Coach Ed's fault I didn't get my math assignment done. Uh, George, said Miss Flom. All right, I didn't catch these mice, but it's not my fault. So now there's mice on the loose, too. All I was doing was carrying the blue paint to my desk during class. Here he goes carrying his paint. What happens next? It's not my fault I tripped. But Mr. B made me stay in during recess to clean up the paint. Oh, can you imagine what's going to happen next? While I was trying to clean up the paint, the cage got in my way and fell over. But he still doesn't think it's his fault, huh? Boy, do mice run fast when they get loose. I was trying to catch them when I was called to your office. There's all the mice getting loose.
so it's all your fault I didn't get to catch these mice, he said. But he says it kind of like a question, so maybe he's not sure. George, exclaimed Miss Flom, I actually called you into my office to ask you to be on the school patrol. What a surprise. He thought he was in trouble the whole time, right? This is Miss Flum still speaking. But it's not my fault you won't have time to discuss that today. You'll be busy staying after school to finish your math, clean up that paint, and catch these mice. How does he look now? He looked pretty happy on that last page when she told him she was going to pick him for school patrol, and now he doesn't look so happy anymore. So when George finally got home, his mother said, You're late. I can explain, mumbled George. Miss Flom made me stay after school to finish my math, clean up paint, catch mice, and it's all my fault. Why is that? asked his mother. This is the first time George said it was his fault. And he says, because I have a big mouth. And that's the end of our story. You can see all the mice all over the cover and the back of the book. So just like I said before we read this story, this is a great lesson about responsibility. Now, does everyone know what responsibility means? Responsibility means we take control of ourselves, right? It also means we think about other people, and it means we think about the consequences of our actions. And that is exactly what we saw George learn throughout the story. So the whole time, what was he saying? It's not my fault. And on the very last page, he changed that, and what did he say instead? you know what, it is my fault. So George started doing all of those things. He thought about consequences, he thought about other people, and he recognized that he's the one that controls what he does and what happens. So now to end our time together for today, I have a fun little surprise. I'm gonna sing a song. <laughs> and I hope maybe some of you at home can sing along with me and that'll make me a little bit less shy, okay? <laughs> so this song is called, What is Responsibility? which is perfect, right? Because we just talked about responsibility. And it's sung to the tune of Where is Thumpkin'? So I'm just gonna hold up the words and I'm gonna point to wherever we are because we might start over, we might jump around a little bit and feel free to sing along. Okay. What's responsibility? What's responsibility? Staying in control of me. Staying in control of me. Doing my chores faithfully, making choices carefully, thinking about the feelings of others, thinking about the consequences. Again, what's responsibility? What's responsibility? Staying in control of me, staying in control of me. Doing my chores faithfully, making choices carefully. Let's skip down here. You can count on me responsibility. That was so much fun. I have had so much fun getting to do my very first video for you all. Thank you for those of you who sang along. Thank you for those of you who had your listening ears turned on and have been listening super well to the story. And I cannot wait to see you again next time. Bye Panther Cubs!